اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we looked into how to perform mediation analysis using a single mediator in SEMIN R. In this session, we are going to look into how to use SEMIN R to perform multiple mediation or mediation with multiple mediators. In this case, I've got an IV here, vision. My mediators are collaborative culture and commitment. And my dependent variable is organizational performance. But before going into that detail, let's have a look here. The specific effect significance, that is the function that we use to obviously retrieve the specific effects for each mediator. Now this can be used for calculating the bootstrapped mean, standard deviation, t statistics and bootstrap confidence interval for paths involving multiple mediators as in this case. The through argument can take multiple mediating constructs as arguments. That is, you, in the through argument that we are going to just use or we have used previously can take multiple arguments and therefore this function can be used for testing models with serial mediation. We are going to look into this in our serial mediation video later. So in this session, let's test this particular model. The first thing is, Obviously, we are well acquainted with these things. I'm just going to quickly review. This is as we have done so many times, just loading in the data, looking at it. Then your measurement model. In this case, we've got four constructs. Vision, commitment, collaborative culture, organizational performance. Now, all of them are multiple items. Now, this is the text that proceeds in the data file. Again, I've taken it as formative. OC, CC, OP. Now, why this OC, CC, OP, OC, VIZ? Because in your data file, let me just quickly do it. Look at this. In the data file, it's referred to as VIS1234. So we just write the preceding text and then the numbers 124. Now, moving on. Now that we have specified our measurement model, the next thing obviously your structural model. So what are the parts? Vision to organizational performance, vision to obviously these two parts. Now why these two parts here? Look at this, vision to collaborative culture and organizational commitment. And then your commitment and collaborative culture to organizational performance. So these are the parts that are to be evaluated. And they are done through calling the relationship function and the results are stored in this particular object. Now this is your structural model and this is your measurement model. Now let's run it. Okay, so we have no issues. Now moving on. The next step is to estimate the model. Let's estimate the model and produce the summary which will be stored in summary underscore simple. Let's copy it. Let's put it down, click here and let's press enter, paste it here and now let's first create our structural model. Okay, now let's first estimate the model, run it. Now all 341 observations are valid. Moving on, let's store the summary and the summary is stored. This model was estimated by calling the summary function. The results are stored in this particular object. Now you can call this object to retrieve any information you want. Now let's converge it and let's run the bootstrap model along with our summary of bootstrapped model. Copy and let's paste it here. Now let's look at the iterations first. Well within the range, no issues. Now let's run our bootstrap model. Now bootstrapping in progress. Now your bootstrapping process is complete. The next thing is obviously put in your bootstrap model in this summary object by calling this summary function. Let's run it and no issues here as well. Now moving on, let's inspect the total indirect effects. 
whether the there is some mediation or not. Let's run it. Now look at this. Now we've got this indirect effect from vision to organizational performance is 0 0.270. Now that was the total indirect effect that was passing from vision to organizational performance through these two mediators. But I am not interested in the total indirect effect. I'm interested in whether this is significant, this path here, vision, collaborative culture and organizational performance, and whether this path here, vision, commitment and organizational performance is significant. Now, in order to do this, what I need to do is I need to inspect indirect effects from each of the mediators. Now, in order to do that, I will have to use specific underscore effect underscore significance function. So I copy it and be considerate of the arguments it takes. So it's taking this bootstrapped model, then the three variables, one IV, one mediator, and one dependent, in case it's not a serial mediation. You first call this function specific effect significance. Mention the bootstrapped model that you have done earlier. Here in this case, it was boot underscore model, and then comma from, this is your IV, through this is your mediator to this is your dependent variable and then the alpha value and look at this is it significant yes it's significant the t value is greater than 1.96 now let's do the other one the other mediation relationship let's run it obviously the good practice is just do not put in so many spaces Let's run it. There is no zero in between and T statistic is greater than 1.96. Now in both cases, your both mediators are significant. So the mediation relationship in this case, collaborative culture and commitment, both mediators are significant. So the influence of vision on organizational performance is actually passing through these two mediators. But is it partial mediation or total mediation? In order to do that, we need to look at the paths. So how do we look at the paths? Here it is. Let's see the direct effect. The first step, obviously, the indirect effects. And then you look at the direct effects. Now let me run it. So summary underscore simple underscore paths. So look at this vision to organizational performance. This is 0.373. This looks significant. Is it? So vision to organizational performance. Look at the T statistics. Yes, the direct effect is significant. So why direct effect is significant? Because it is greater than 1.96. So your indirect effects here, both of them were significant. Your direct effect is also significant. So this shows partial mediation. Moving on. Is it complementary? Or competitive. Again, you just simply multiply the paths from vision to culture, collaborative culture to organizational performance and vision to organizational performance. As here, vision, collaborative culture, organizational performance. So I've named it P1, this is P2, this is P3. So P1 multiplied by P2 multiplied by P3. Similarly, P3 multiplied by P4 multiplied by P5. How to do this? It's very simple. You just have to use the objects and the paths. In this case, let me do one quickly to understand. Look at this. Summary underscore simple. This object holds the summary and then the sub object paths. So I want to multiply vision to our to collaborative culture. That is your IV to MV. Then your collaborative culture to organizational performance, your MV to DV and then your IV to DV as well. When all three are multiplied, we get this. This is positive. So this is complementary mediation. Look at this. Positive complementary mediation. So for both mediators, this is complementary mediation. Again, we can have our plots as well. So just copy it, paste it and run it. And here is your path model with two mediators. You can simply copy it, export it, save as image, however you want. Let's get our bootstrapped model run it and here is your bootstrapped model 
here it is with the significance as well so this is how you can use seminar if you've got multiple mediators these are the steps that we are going to undertake thank you very much